What's up YouTube? Today we have Eventide H3000D slash SE and we'll update some ROM memory in it. Let's go ahead and unscrew all these bolts on top and see what is under it. After all bolts are unscrewed, let's remove the top part. Now we can see we have slots for the ROM right there so let's go ahead disassemble all ones the specific tweezers and install these new pieces so we have 7 slots and I see already installed 3 ROM memories but we have 5 you see there is one on top 3 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th so let's go ahead and untwist all these parts so we can reach access to all the so we have this old ROM chips installed let's install new ones and see what happens so now we have access to all the ROMs and ROM 1 is small piece you can see right here room 1 let's go ahead and replace it with a new piece for this we will use little tweezers just gently pull it out it will go easier and then install the new piece first room is installed let's go ahead and install second one Second one removed so far too. Let's go ahead and place ROM number two. So right here. One little tricks with legs. You can bend over them a little bit. Just by like placing them on a flat surface. So perfectly it will go in. All the ROMs removed. New ones are installed. Let's power it on and see what happens and we have two extra ROMs and I'm confused where to put ROM 4 right here or ROM 5 right there probably ROM 4 here ROM 5 on top but let's power it on with 3 and see what's going on power on and we only have so you can see just a stripe so nothing loading something missing let's go ahead and install two other ROMs and see how it boots up all five ROMs are installed let's put power and see how it boots up power is plugged power on and we see same thing there's a stripe alright let's try to flip the models 4 and 5 